Hi there, welcome to CA Service Management. In this video we will cover the weather configuration. Let me introduce you to Jack. He is the administrator at example.com. Jack is aware that the IT analysts at the beginning of their shift find it difficult to forecast the workload for the day. This invariably has an impact on their productivity, utilization and also affects the customer experience. Jack has learned about the new feature Weather that enables IT analysts to effectively plan and manage the day. Let us see how Jack configures Weather. So, what is Weather? Weather enables an IT analyst to forecast the workload for the day. The workload is usually defined in terms of the number of high heat and untrudged tickets that are assigned to the logged in analyst and logged in analyst groups. And also any planned environmental change for the day. Verify the following prerequisites. Number 1. Decide the weather configuration name. For example, the weather configuration can be named as weather configuration for level 1 team in New York. Number 2. Based on your environment, decide the weather attribute weightages. For example, if the logged in IT analyst has two high heat tickets, and the weightage for a high heat ticket is 10, then 20 points are assigned towards the weather forecast. At last, define the minimum and maximum threshold. These values will define the weather range. Now log into the CA Service Desk Manager as an administrator and navigate to the Administration tab. From the left navigation pane, select XFlow Analyst Interface and select Weather. And click Create New. Enter the weather configuration name. Select the status as active. Describe the weather configuration in detail. Select the checkbox to enable suggestions for an IT analyst. These suggestions are based on the forecast and help the analyst plan effectively for the day. Specify the minimum and maximum threshold to calculate range for the weather configuration. For example, you can define the minimum threshold as 10 and the maximum as 40, and the range will be calculated based on the threshold values. In that case, forecast with 0 to 10 weightage will be categorized as sunny weather. Forecast with 11 to 40 weightage will be categorized as cloudy weather, and forecast above 40 weightage will be categorized as stormy weather. And click Save to submit the weather configuration form. Based on the environment, Jack has decided the weightage for the weather criteria. And here is an example. The weather criteria list has three predefined criterion. Jack does not have the privilege to add any further criteria. Now let us learn about each of the criterion in detail. Number 1. Personal. This criteria is used to determine the weather by calculating the weight of the high heat tickets assigned to the logged in IT analyst. For this criteria, Jack can modify only the weight for the high heat tickets. Number 2 on the criteria list is Team. This criteria is used to determine the weather by calculating the weight of the high heat tickets and untrudged tickets that are assigned to the logged in IT analyst groups. For this criteria condition, Jack can modify only the weight for the untrudged tickets. For this criteria condition, Jack can modify only the weight for the high heat tickets. And last on the criteria list is environmental. This criteria is used to determine the weather for a scheduled environmental change. For this criteria, Jack can modify the condition by using the change order attributes.
and click Save to close the Criteria Condition Detail page. Jack has configured weather based on the environment of example.com. Dustin, the IT analyst is successfully able to forecast the workload for the day by clicking the weather icon on the XFlow analyst interface. You now have an overview of weather as a concept. Understand the benefits of weather and also learned how an administrator can configure weather. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this helpful.